Bishop Sebastian Francis, born in Johor Bahru, West Malaysia. Bishop Dotto Sebastian Francis was ordained a priest in 1977 and Bishop of Penang Diocese in 2012. He is currently Episcopal Advisor to the Peninsula Malaysia Service Team of the Catholic Charismatic Renewal in Malaysia, Chairman of the Peninsula Malaysia Pastoral Team from 1999. He has helped organize its convention for more than a decade. He served the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Malaysia, Singapore, and Brunei as Vice President for two years. Now President of this conference, he also represents the bishops at the Federation of Asian Bishops' Conferences. My parents are migrants from India, from Kerala. And of course, they bring all the traditional Catholic uh, heritage and practices over here. And uh, we are citizens of Malaysia, of course. We are born and bred here. So the traditions were there from day one, you know, studying in mission schools which belong to the Catholic Church. So we grew up in a very Catholic environment in a very Catholic environment. In some funny ways, it reminds me of a story in the life of Jesus where he was separated from his parents at the age of 12. He stayed back in the temple and he gave a rather smart answer <laughs> to his parents uh, when they asked him, why did you do this to us? Why did you leave our company? And he said, did you, did you not know I got to be about my father's business? Now, I kind of smile at this incident because I too, at the age of 12, uh, had a little argument with my parents and I wanted to leave home and go and join uh, uh, the religious and become a religious. Yeah? And, uh, you know, so, well, it, it, it somehow was there from a very, very young age. And uh, I, I kind of, uh, what shall I say, I was a little... Uh, adamant about it you know and anyway i went and my father was not very much in favor but finally he gave in uh, he gave in and i went at the age of 12 i left home <laughs> and though jesus went back and stayed back home till he was 30 years old well i left at the age of 12 and i've never gone back i mean so to speak uh, and i have remained in this vocation, religious, later on in the seminary, and so on and so forth. Yeah, I think bishops should not delegate everything to others, you know. And uh, there are certain things they have to be a little bit more personal and proactive in uh, engaging, uh, especially with young people, young single adults, men, uh, who I have focused on two things. Uh, they must be interested or have some interest in the priesthood and in mission. So I introduced a kind of a program, but very, very informal, very light, very easy, very, you know, where they come and live with me for 24 hours, once a month for 24 hours, from Saturday afternoon to Sunday afternoon. And they just do, what I do, they follow me wherever I go if I have some programs. And I have a very informal chat with them. I pray with them, I eat with them, and so on and so forth. And uh, I've been doing this for about a year now. And it has, you know, given me a little uh, insight into the life of younger people. And, well, I hope it will bear some fruits. The Catholic community has grown in Malaysia. It is not decreasing. It has grown for many reasons. We have many adult baptisms every year in Malaysia as a country. We are nine dioceses and we have about five, six thousand adult baptisms every year. We have internal migration where a lot of Catholics from the eastern part of Malaysia, from Sabah and Sarawak, are migrating over here to work, to study, etc. And they are also a predominantly Catholic community. 
another reason why how churches are full. And the third is the arrival of migrants from many countries of Asia, and many of them are also Catholics, Christians. And therefore, we do see uh, a growth rather than a decline in the churches of Peninsula Malaysia. The joy uh, comes from the fact that uh, the Malaysian church is very integrated. Uh? So the joy of celebrating 50 years of the Catholic Charismatic Renewal together with the Catholic Charismatic Renewal all over the world uh, uh, is coupled with the joy of celebrating 52 years of the Second Vatican Council too. Uh, and as we know, the Catholic Charismatic Renewal was born two years after the end of the Second Vatican Council too. And the church in this part of the world has also had its own uh, renewal for the whole church. And we have celebrated 40 years of our aggiornamento, our renewal, as three dioceses combined in Peninsula Malaysia. The Archdiocese of Kuala Lumpur, the Diocese of Malacca, Johor, which is neighboring with Singapore, and the Diocese of Penang. So really, it's a multiple celebration. And I, I say the celebration is very integrated because it's also integrated with the apparition, celebrating the 100 years of the apparition of Mother Mary at Fatima. I guess the Holy Spirit was a very silent person in the lives of many Catholics before Vatican Council II and before the birth of the CCR. The Holy Spirit was a very silent uh, listener. But I guess the Catholic Charismatic Renewal brought the presence, uh, the dynamism uh, of the Holy Spirit into the forefront. And I guess it is also correct to say that this is the age of the Holy Spirit. Uh, that the mission of Jesus, that Jesus completed, and many returned to the Father. The Father and Jesus entrusted the continuation of the mission of Christ until the end of time to the person of the Holy Spirit. So we must thank the Catholic Charismatic Renewal for having brought the person of the Holy Spirit to the forefront of the church and for helping a lot of people to have a very personal, real, concrete, tangible, dynamic relationship with the Holy Spirit. Of course, together with all the fruits of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit that have been, you know, bursting all, all over the place in the last uh, 50 years. While preparing to uh, reflect in, on this occasion with our people, um, just uh, thought from St. Catherine of Genova came to me. And she said 500 years ago, she said, a renewal without a reform is the corruption of the church. Now, I thought that was a very, very exciting statement coming from a saint and a mystic who lived 500 years ago. A renewal without reform in the church is the corruption of the church. So I guess by reform, she meant a personal experience of conversion. And therefore, we, on the one hand, we celebrate uh, that this Catholic charismatic renewal came with a call to conversion. And many people had an experience of a personal conversion together with an abundance of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the particular charismatic gifts of the Holy Spirit. 
And we are also aware that there have been uh, many, some people who also um, maybe left the church as a result of the renewal. And uh, without being judgmental, we also ask and plead for God's mercy upon all who may have entered into this renewal and maybe received the gifts but didn't go through a very personal experience of conversion and for some reason uh, may have left the church. But I think the, the Spirit is bringing us all together with a clearer understanding of the renewal in the Catholic Church today. Well, you have 50 years of experience behind you, okay? Of struggles, of pain, of joy, of having received the gift of the Spirit and all the fruits and gifts that come with the gift of the Spirit. So look forward, be bold, remember the only empowerment you need is the empowerment you received when hands were laid on you. When we, bishops and priests, laid hands on you. At baptism, at confirmation, even when you were sick and at ordination. And with this, fan into a flame what you have received. And move forward peacefully, boldly, and with humility. And do not be afraid. That's what Jesus kept saying to us after the resurrection. Do not be afraid. I am with you. Amen. Well, I read them on an equal basis with the call to the priesthood and to religious life. Huh? And when Jesus said, the harvest is plentiful, pray the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to the vineyard. And I think if we are too exclusive and we pray only for priests, I think our prayers will not be answered. He said, pray that the Lord send laborers. Some of the laborers are bishops, some are priests, some are deacons, some are religious, and many are missionaries, whether lay or otherwise. And I think that we must throw the net wide and there are many people uh, who are ready to answer the call to be missionaries, whether lay or clerical or religious. But I think we have to open the, the thing wide and not to be selective. So we pray the Lord of the harvest. We don't pray for a bountiful harvest. The harvest is already there. It's already promised by Christ. We pray that the Lord of the harvest will send many laborers, priests, religious and laity huh? to the harvest, to gather the harvest. Scripture says, that God disciplines those whom He loves. And uh, in that sense, I think every struggle, every single one of them, is in the context of God preparing a person for His mission. And uh, for example, what Jesus told Peter, Peter, I prayed for you. I know you're going to fall. But after you have recovered, I have prayed that you will recover from your fall. And after you have recovered, you strengthen your brothers and sisters. So even the falls and the struggles and the failures and whatnot, I think is God's way of uh, what Henry Nouwen, the great Henry Nouwen calls, we are all wounded healers. And if you are not wounded, you probably cannot be a healer. You would probably be a Pharisee of some kind and not a healer like Christ. So I think the struggles are part of God's way of preparing, disciplining and preparing us uh, to, to, be, uh, to be more free, more liberated, more detached, so that we could uh, be available 
and ready to do His will, whatever it may be. We had our Peninsula Malaysia Pastoral Convention for just last year. It's like our own Vatican Council II ongoing renewal. And uh, we brought together all the leaders of the three dioceses, bishops, clergy, deacons, permanent deacons, priests, religious and laity. And we went through a process of discernment, asking ourselves, what is the Holy Spirit saying to the church today? Not 40 years ago, not 50 years ago, not 52 years ago at Vatican II, but today. And we came to the conclusion, and the three bishops articulated this in their final message, that the Holy Spirit wants the church in Peninsula Malaysia in response to all that is happening in the world, in the church, all the challenges, whether it be of fundamentalism or whether it be of uh, you know, extremism, coming from any quarter, from any religion, from any nation, the Holy Spirit wants a church in this part of the world that is creative. The Holy Spirit wants a church that is inclusive, and the Holy Spirit wants a church that builds bridges. And the other three things that is uh, rather clear for us is that no matter what the challenges may be, uh, real or imaginary, that we must are called to be, to share the joy of the gospel. Number two, we are called to be merciful like the Father. And number three, this is our own, uh, we are called to be disciples of hope. In a world that appears to be very broken, that appears to be very divided, that all kinds of division, whether it be, you know, rich and poor, you know, uh, east and west, whatever the divisions, or even ideological differences within the church and outside of being very conservative and traditional on the one hand or being very liberal and modern on the other hand we are called to be disciples of hope and we are called to be bridge builders and not just be you know hiding behind any labels any labels we are called to be christ-centered not fundamentalists not traditional, not conservative on the one hand, or liberal and modern on the other hand, but simply called to be faithful and to be Christ-centered. And knowing that Jesus is the head and we, the church, are the body of Christ. So to be Christ-centered is also to love the church, his body. And we move with confidence to the future with three things clearly in our minds and in our hearts the purity of intention of everything we say and do faith in prayer and fidelity in action and with this we will move forward wherever the spirit leads us not backwards but forwards forwards towards the second and final and glorious coming of Jesus Christ. Dear young people, I want you, wherever you may be, to speak to us as young disciples of Jesus today. Not as leaders of tomorrow. You'll be too old tomorrow. Uh, make your contribution, speak up, speak to the bishops at the coming synod in Rome next year and speak as young disciples today. Uh, the church needs your dynamism, the church needs your innovation, the church needs your creative ideas. Uh, and so please help us. Uh, we want to know what the Spirit is saying to the church through you 
as young people today, young disciples today, not leaders of tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. But please help the church to grow today and make your contributions as young people today. And this year and next year will be exciting for you and for us. And I hope that we will listen more and talk less and listen to you and what the Spirit is saying through you to us. It's a great joy for me to endorse Shalom World TV. I was delighted to hear that they were going to be based in Port Leisha, in our diocese, in a studio there in the parish, to base their Irish operation. I'm delighted to welcome the Shalom team. They will be invaluable partners for the Meeting of the World Meeting of Families when we host it in Dublin in 2018. And they'll be a marvellous tool to deepen the evangelization and the spreading of the good news around our country. The greatest challenge today for all of us in faith is communication. Communicating the message and doing it well. I thank Shalom for making their contribution to the world of media and their contribution to allowing the good news to be heard to the ends of the earth. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit bless all who work in Shalom and all who watch their stations. May St. Bridget accompany you on your journey. May St. Conlet be with you and St. Lazarian stay beside you. Amen. Shalom World, God's own channel.